I'm Merc. Shut up.
there's one section. You need to memorize that as a section of music. Well, this year's band seemed to enter band camp very goal-oriented. They came there to work to get something done. Uh, the section leaders knew that they had a job to do. They uh, seemed to have in mind what they wanted to accomplish with their sections. We had a rather large freshman class, over, to se over 70 members in the freshman class, which rivaled our 80-member freshman class of last year. And uh, it was a very talented group, good-looking group. Uh, they were ready to work, and they didn't take them long to get to the, the business at hand. <laughs> routine this year I feel like it's a lot more dancier it requires um, a line at member to, to kind of know a little bit more about dance rather than maybe years before whether last year and years before it's been a little bit more precision type dancing and this year even though we we match each other and we look exactly alike it's not quite the poppy precision it's a little bit more dancier jazzier a little bit more um, dance oriented I think. Great. How many band members would actually lay on the hot pavement? <laughs> Not many. What? What? Band camp 2003 how much fun are we having yet? Oh we're having great fun it's been a great time y'all let me tell you it's all about band if you're not in band you're missing it. Alright dude, here we go. Starting down here with the nail. We got the nail. I got the nail. Let's look at the nail. Start on the 20 yard line. Yeah, we've got it. Yeah. After a while, the hair with it pretty right there. Okay. <laughs> That's 22 and a half inches, isn't it? <laughs> That's good to me. It didn't, it didn't catch it. Gotta pick it up right there. But it didn't work. I mean, it didn't hurt it. That's all. That's all right. A lot of times that makes the curve better when it moves because it's been stretched tight. Hey, Ryan, you ready? Yeah. Oh, I see that. Here. You need some water, go on and get it. And we're going to go and play a position to a warm up. Here's what I want to do today. 
I'm going to change the brass set for the lionette feature. So we're going to relearn that just the last one last page. It shouldn't affect anything the lionettes do. Uh, all the winds have a slightly different set. We're going to learn that, run that, and then we're going to get a run through of everything. Do y'all need to segment before we run through just to make sure you got it in your head? Yes. Please. All right, we'll segment one time. That's all we're going to have time for. But my goal is still to be gone by 3 o'clock so you can have a break. All right? Get something to drink. How are you? I'm fine. Get that off of me. I was going to get that on camera. Shh. Oh. <laughs> this year's line is probably the closest. Like, we're close to each other. We, we get along, everything. I mean, we get along every year, but I mean, just as, as a group, we stick together. And I mean, we've, we've pushed really hard, too. Like, we're out there 115 every day and start our tosses and, you know, and I've had I've had three or four girls that improve tremendously. most mature groups that we've had, although there are a lot of young players in the band. I think that's just a testament to, to what the bands in the past have done. They're attracting a higher caliber musician to the UNA band. Sorry. Uh, have a little situation here. She left her purse where we were eating and her keys are in it and she so can't get, get her stuff. Y'all go back there? Yeah. That's what I'm fixing yeah. to tell you to do. Take off. Should be back. We might time? have trouble getting in this way. If y'all get on that side of the campus, you ought to be all right. Oh, yeah. We won't go out until, well, we got over an hour before, okay. before we're out there. Just tick, tick the food. Out of her? Yeah, tick her. And win. Uh, you were saying about the mature, more mature band, yeah. Lloyd. Uh... Listen up. When your friends come walking up and say, hey, and all that, you don't talk to them. You just say, I'm sorry, we're doing something. We don't talk in uniform. We're not fraternizing, not chit-chatting. You're not at the mall. And if they have any sense at all, they'll understand. Now, I realize some of them may not have any sense. You might have to tell them twice. No, I'm not going to have a conversation with you now. We're doing something. And then we'll probably move y'all around to perform if we have room to do it because we want people to see what you do. If we don't, smile real big at the governor. That way if, if this passes, he'll give us some money. He'll get bigger scholarships. We'll be able to buy the other half of the uniform. Okay. <laughs> Trumpets! I'm y'all. We're going to lead the band? Yeah, we're going to lead. Y'all know where you're going. I'm not going to lead the band.
Euthanasia meant youth in Asia. Yeah. And Not youth in Asia, yeah. but you thought it meant... Youth in Asia. Like young people in Asia. Yeah, and I didn't know it was wrong with the youth in Asia. You figured, what's wrong with having youth in Asia? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. You never heard of that before? No. Really? There's nothing you can put in your urine to drink it, huh?
putting a show together, you try to group tunes within a 10 minute time frame that you think the audience will enjoy. That will be exciting, sometimes uh, be very driving, uh, and other times be very laid back. You need to pace the program, lead your audience through the features so that you're hitting the high points uh, right when, when the audience is ready for a high point. Uh, this show, which is comprised of all Duke Ellington music, I started putting together last spring. And uh, we had done Ellington music in the past, but we had never done a complete show of Ellington music. And I wanted to try that because he has so many great tunes that, that never get old, they never get stagnant. And so uh, I put together a group of tunes using some we had done before and some new songs. And it's worked out rather well. The audience has really enjoyed it. The students have really enjoyed it. It's exposed them to a genre of music that many of them were not aware of. Uh, hopefully they'll explore that a little more and expand their musical horizons a bit. Uh, but most of all, it really conveyed to every crowd that we played for, whether it be at the football stadium at a UNA game uh, or, or it be at an exhibition uh, that we would do. We did seven or eight exhibitions this, this uh, fall. Uh, the audience was really entertained, uh, and that's what it's all about, entertaining the crowd and keeping their attention on those students 100% of the time. Can I say shoes? No. But yes. Okay. But I got it. <laughs> shoes? Yes. yes. Uh, yes. Towel. 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 Yes. Towel. Yes. yes. Makeup. Makeup. No. no. Your finger caps. You got your finger caps. No. 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 Bear find them. <laughs> You're not going to close off. I left that one at home. And goals, what else? Now, get out the. The. Scarface. <laughs> There were two for each of them. You can get two for two dollars. I have dog treats that look like that, actually. Teddy grams. Chicken and biscuits. I think that's it. You are one of these people that can eat all day and not gain an ounce, right? Yeah. Oh, and I don't love it. That's from Al Ding and Chad the other day. Ooh.
with the sounds of Sophisticated Lady. The UNA Major Rex. Uh, this year's show opens up with a Ellington tune from the late 30s called Things Ain't What They Used To Be. Uh, it's a blues-oriented tune. The crowd really enjoyed it. It allowed the horn line to open up and wail a bit. And all the girls were up front dancing uh, as one unit, and it was really a big crowd pleaser. I did very much enjoy Sea Jam of this year. It's also got a lot of energy. And it's very, very fun to do. It's fun when the crowd gets into it. Just the whole evening. It's kind of different than anything that, we, that we've done since I've been here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Q&A for such a section of the entire cast are featured on the finale, Blues and the Jam Blues.
you're 38, 37. 37? 37. <laughs> You were just playing with it? Just playing. Is that what we normally do? It's called a dead head. You filming? I've got issues with this camera. You do? Why? Because it scares me. Does it really? Yes, it really does. Are you sure? Because I never know when it's on. Oh. And I do a lot of random stupid stuff. I know. I know. I'm talking about it when it's probably on. <laughs> I'm like a Braveheart. I'm gonna ride through with blue paint on my face. Wield my clarinet. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the energy level's a lot higher within the show this year, just the way, the pure design of it, and uh, also execution of the show by the members of the band feels a little better than last year. Well, one, we went with a different style this year, and we went with the jazz, uh, or going back to the jazz, really. But I think overall, it's, it's uh, the music is a lot more fun to play. Uh, the crowd can interpret the show a little bit better, they can get into it a little bit more. Plus, we have a band this year that's just uh, phenomenal and able to relay that to the crowd. They're really performing out there. So when they're performing, the crowd has a good time. And when the crowd has a good time, we're having a good time out there. And so it really makes the show a lot of fun. Right after things, we segued into Caravan, uh, which was written by Ellington and, and Juan Tizal, his valve trombone player. Uh, Ellington was a big fan of Latin music, uh, from Brazilian type music. And this was, was one of those tunes, heavy Latin influence. Students really enjoyed playing this piece, uh, had a really fast, exciting ending to it that uh, really got the audience excited as well.
started having fun the first day of band camp. Really? Never ending. You like the show this year? Yeah, I like the show this year. It's, I think it's kind of high energy, a lot of enthusiasm. It's fun. Oh, I'm sorry, we got to sing for Jen. Give me a C on one of them horns. <laughs> there it is. Y'all hear? One, two. <laughs> All right, y'all, thank you. I really do enjoy this year's show. Um, as far as drumline, we, we're young again, which is nothing new. And um, I never felt it really locked in. Like, and that's how it's been throughout the years. It just, you know, because we're always so green, it's like we get to a point that it's it's pretty good, you know, compared to what we started off with, but never just really, really good, you know. So it, that's why every year it's just kind of like it's good. The show's there, but you know, I'm, I'm still waiting for the drumline just to click, you know. You know, the energy is there from the crowd, but if the notes ain't clean, you walk off the field going, well, that's pretty good. Here comes the University of North Carolina Lions. Condoleezza Rice, is that right? Well, one third every two years. The next portion of the show was centered around music from Sophisticated Lady, a show that Duke Ellington had written. We segued with the title track, and it featured Taylor Criswell on a baritone solo. He handled that very nicely, and that led us to the Majorette feature. Uh, it's a great classic from the Ellington Library entitled It Don't Mean a Thing If It Ain't Got That Swing. That took us right into Don't Get Around Much Anymore, which is another tune from Sophisticated Lady. We featured the color guard and the lionettes in this piece of music, and it really was a good vehicle for them to show their talents. Uh, both of them had very strong features. Uh, and then it had Drew White and Taylor Criswell playing on the end in a little feature spot. And the audience just really, really ate this up. It was a very strong feature segment. The percussion feature started out as Mood Indigo, which was a, an Ellington ballad. And over the summer, uh, David Waters uh, did many rewrites and did many versions of this. And it ended up being a piece we just called Moods. Our drum line, which is incredibly young this year, really came a long ways and really executed well. Had some great performances this year and really impressed a lot of folks. And uh, that piece of music segued right into CGM Blues, which was also entitled Duke's Place. This tune really caught the audience by surprise, CGM Blues. They weren't exactly sure how to react to it, but in the end it was always favorable. We quoted a little bit of A-Train, one of the Ellington standards, and had a great big ending on the show that was just very exciting and the students handled it very well.
There's no place in the world in this decade that is going to play a more significant role than this community right here in the center of Alabama. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this performance by the University of North Alabama Pride of Dixie Marching Band.
proved it again to me. Well, I'll tell you what, the band is superb. We so, make us so proud to have an overflow crowd like we got tonight and see them put on a flawless performance. They've set the standard for the football team for the second half. We had a very strong group of section leaders. They all did a great job. And probably the strongest group we've had in the last three or four years. I'll tell you, the two groups that, that uh, make the biggest difference behind the scenes are Kappa Kappa Psi and Tall Betty Sigma. Many times they're taking care of uh, responsibilities that nobody ever thinks of. Uh, anything from the obvious like getting water uh, to the unobvious things like checking the uniforms to make sure they're all clean in the middle of the week. And if something is not just how it should be, taking that uniform out and cleaning it or getting something fixed, fixing horns, loading equipment. There's so many things that those two groups do that are just an invaluable service to the band. We just simply couldn't run a band without them. 